Good morning, boys and girls. I know lots of you are going to be a bit busy this morning, uh, and some of you are getting your books right this second. <laughs> so today, we're not going to need our book for the lesson. We're going to do a, a worksheet through Google Forms, and I'm going to run through a couple of questions with you to practice and remember our uh, order of operations. That's big maths. Okay? So, you can open the Google Form either on a computer, like I've got here, or on a phone, will work just as well. And if you follow the link that I've sent you, you'll come to this here. So remember to put your nickname first thing. And I've put this here just to remind you of your order of operations. So we do our brackets as the first thing. Then we do indices. We don't have to worry about that just yet. That's not going to be in any questions today. Then we divide or we multiply. And if we've finished all our multiplication and division, then we can add and subtract last. Okay. And remember, whenever we're doing order of operations, uh, after we've done this order, we then have to do left to right. Okay. I noticed some of you last time were doing like three plus four minus 2 plus 3 and you were doing the 2 plus 3 here first and then doing minus 5 which isn't right we'll go through some examples in a minute okay so let's do the very first one here together okay what you will need for today apart from a phone or a computer is you'll need a pencil ideally an eraser and some scrap paper or your notebook if you've got it yet, okay? Remember, pencil is always best for maths. Okay, so 24 minus 120 divided by 20. Let's start that here, okay? So I'm just gonna write out 24 minus 120 divided by 20 equals, cool. So now we've got our sum written out. Let's think about our order of operations, okay? So, got brackets, any brackets? No. Indices, any indices? No. No. Do we have division or multiplication? Ah, yes we do. So let's do our division slash multiplication first. 120 divided by 20. Well, we could, uh, do it. let's just do the working over here. So, 120 divided by 20. Sorry, it's a little bit messy. I'm looking at the camera, not, <laughs> not the real thing. So, when we've got a zero in both of these, we can actually just get rid of the zero. Because it's 10 divided by 10, or 10 divided by 10, rather. So, we don't need the zeros. Then we've got 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, this bit will be 6. Okay, and then we bring down the rest of the sum. So we've got 24 minus 6 equals, what does that equal? Equals 18. Easy peasy. Okay, so then you get your answer on the scrap paper, working on the scrap paper. And then up here, we just click and we type in our answer. 18. Oh, pff, not, not 187, 18. Okay, then we go on to the next one. I'm just going to do... Hmm, hmm. Let's do an example that's like this one. So I think this one might trip you up. Okay, So I'm going to make up my own one down here. Let's do 7 times 6 minus 3 times 9. Okay? So, again... We start thinking about our bit mass. If you'd like, you can just scroll up to here to remind yourself the order, okay? We don't have any brackets. No. Indices. No. Multiplication or division. Yes. We've got multiplication. In fact, we've got two bits of multiplication. So if they are happening at the same time, we have to do both of them before our minus. And... We do them from left to right, okay? So, seven times six is, oh, that's 
42, good, so it'd be 42 minus 3 times 9. Then I'm going to do the multiplication on this side. So 42 minus uh, 3 times 9 equals 27. Cool. So you see, we've done both the multiplication first, and we've left the minus in the middle. Okay? Then we've got 42 minus 27 is going to be... Do, 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 do. Come on, brain. And that's going to be equal 15, right? Let's double check over here, because we don't want to give the wrong answer just to look clever and doing it in our head, do we? So, two, three, that leaves us with five. And this, yeah, okay, good. 15 was indeed the correct answer. Good. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> okay, we're going to do one more practice type of question before I let you away to try it yourself. This time, um, we've got an equation 17 plus 13 multiplied by 6. Okay? 17 plus 13 multiplied by 6. So, if we solve this, that would be 13 times 6. So, that would be 13 times 6 gives us 18 times 6. Oh, that's a 7. So, 78. Okay? So, we would do 78 and then 17 plus 78 which gives us plus 17 is 5 and a 1 and 95 right so that equals 95 that's what it looks like just now but what if we had 17 plus 13 times 6 and we wanted to make it equal 180. How could we do that? Hmm. Well, if we put brackets somewhere, brackets are at the very top of the order of operations. So we would have to do the brackets first. If we put brackets somewhere in this equation, will it equal 180? Well, yes. We could put brackets here. So that would, we would do this before we did our multiplication. So let's do our addition inside our brackets first. So 17 plus 13, that's going to give us 30, right? 30 multiplied by 6 equals, oh, I'll cover that. 3, oops, 3 times 6 equals 18. 18 times 10 equals 180. Yeah, so that would equal 180. Excellent. So, if we put our brackets into this equation here, our answer goes from 95 to 180. Because, in this one, we would do our multiplication, then our addition, but our brackets make us do our addition first and then our multiplication. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to let you get to that just now. So there's 10 questions on here. A couple of them are multiple choice, but most of them you'll have to write in the answer yourself. And always remember your order of operations or your bid mass. Okay? Any questions, give me a message online. Okay? All right. Bye for now.